smell that. It's pure Michigan. <laughs> KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Okay, are the Victor Echo 3 station first? Uh, Victor Echo 3, Kilowatt, Zulu, Tango. You're 5-9 in Southern Ontario, Michael. All right, Victor Echo 3, Kilo, Zulu, Tango. Got the 5-9 Southern Ontario. You're about a 5-9 here in uh, Michigan. K1554, Wells State Park. All right, roger that, and have a good one. Okay, uh, where's a November 8, I think, X-ray? Yes, November 8, X-ray, November 8, X-ray, Yankee Mike. Uh, you're about 5, 8 in Ohio. Roger, November 8, X-ray, Yankee Mike. Uh, got your 5, 8, Ohio. You're a solid 5, 9 here in the Michigan. Uh, in the beautiful Upper Peninsula, park number 1554. Back to you. Hey, thanks for the park. Have a great night. Roger, roger. Um, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna sleep well tonight. Uh, this is KB9 VBR. Parks on the air. QRZ. Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Zulu, India. November, India. Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Zulu, India. Gotcha. 5-9 here into Michigan's Upper Peninsula. K1554. Back to you. Copy you. 5-9, Northeast Ohio. Good signal. Thanks for the uh, late shift. Roger, roger. We're having a, yep, it's <laughs> raining. We can't do a whole lot else but play on the radio. So <laughs> thanks a lot for the contact. Uh, this is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. November, Papa 3, Mike Romeo. November, Papa 3, Mike Romeo, gotcha. You're about a 5-3 here into Michigan, park number 1554. Back to you. Roger the 5x5 five five Puerto Rico. <laughs> Thanks for the Puerto Rico. 73, have a good one. This is KB9 VBR. Parks on the air, QRZ. Oh, Victor, Echo 3, Tango Hotel Romeo. Victor Echo 3, Tango Hotel Romeo. Gotcha, 5-7 here into Michigan. Beautiful Upper Peninsula, Park 1554. Back to you. You're about 5'9", uh, even with the tuner upper, uh, no problem. <laughs> That's what they make uh, beat cancel buttons for. Thanks for the activation tonight. Uh, all the way from uh, Puerto Rico to Ontario, you're doing well. Yeah, the Puerto Rico was a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> that surprised me a bit. You never know what 40 meters is going to do. So <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for the contact. I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good one. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Good morning, everyone. Day one of our Uper vacation. Uh, Christina and I are spending an entire week up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And right now, we're at J.W. Wells State Park, uh, located on the shores of Lake Michigan, kind of halfway between um, Menominee Marinette and uh, Escanaba uh, to kind of give you an idea where we're located. Uh, call this day one. Actually, we got here last night. Day, we'll call that day zero Friday. Uh, left uh, mid, you know, late in the afternoon. Uh, got a little bit of work done on Friday. Left late afternoon so we could kind of maximize our Upper Peninsula vacation. Um, Beautiful sunny day. It's been raining all this past week back home and also in the UP. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this park. It's uh, J.W. Wells is about 500 acres. It's uh, two and a half miles of shoreline, hiking trails and whatnot. It was um, formed in 1925 
and uh, this park was created. It was first um, a Civilian Conservation Corps camp in the 1930s and that's where all of the trails were cleared, um, shelters were built, uh, cabins, uh, residences, things like that. And then since then it's been a sort of, it's, it's sort of a popular destination spot. Uh, we're in one of the rustic sites. There's three rustic sites that are real that are right on the uh, the lake shore, and then there's a there's another loop full of modern sites that have uh, hookups, electric hookups. Uh, that seems to be the norm in Michigan. People, Michigan campers, really like their electric hookups, so it's kind of hard to find the rustic sites. But you know, power who <laughs> needs no stinking power when you got the solar panel? Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's it. Uh, ran. Um, it was like I said when we got here it was raining, sprinkling. Uh, had dinner, and um, didn't even light a fire because yeah, we just sat underneath the. Um, the awning and watch the waves uh, kind of lap in on the shoreline there. Uh, we did um, set up the radio, did some contacts, uh, activated this park, tried 80 meters, had no luck on 80 meters, switched to 40 meters, made 27 contacts uh, using the uh, Wolf River coil and uh, collapsible whip. I think we had I had the whip fully extended, about 13, 14 feet, whatever whatever that does. Uh, two ground radials and uh, furthest contact, 40 meters, uh, Puerto Rico. So uh, that woofer recoil really works, especially I think when you get a nice you know nice ground plane here, <laughs> like um, uh, Lake Michigan gave us. So we're going to hit the road today. Uh, go see, uh, just kind of hug Highway Two. Uh, Escanaba, Manistique, and then end up in St. Ignace and camp at Straight State Park uh, right next to the Mighty Mac. And um, that'll be next up on our Uper Vacation Adventure. Two kids still on the run We've only just begun to run Oh, won't you set me free or set me free We're at Solchoy uh, Lighthouse. That's French for last chance. It was a harbor of refuge for early mariners. Lighthouse was built in um, 1896, I believe. Uh, still operation, uh, a north, it's a Lake Michigan North Point Lighthouse. Uh, beautiful day to climb the top. Got some great views of, of Lake Michigan. We're almost at the top of the lake here, outside of Gulliver near Manistique. And now we're on our way to St. Ignis. It's day two on our Uper vacation. We're over here at Straits State Park in St. Ignace, uh, Michigan. Uh, yesterday was our really long travel day. <laughs> we moved from um, uh, J.W. Wells State Park, which is south of Escanaba, all the way along the uh, northern shore of Lake Michigan, uh, U.S. Highway 2, 
over to St. Ignace, Ignace. It's about 120 some, 100, about 150, almost up to 150 miles, I think, with our side trips. So we did a lot of driving yesterday. Uh, yesterday was beautiful, uh, sunny and 80 uh, degrees. Today it is uh, breezy and 56 degrees. Uh, one of the things about the UP is the weather can change uh, just like crazy. Uh, so you know, we're kind of we're kind of prepared for that, though changing the weather. But um, this is our campsite, and I'm just going to walk down this path. I want to kind of show you something here. Uh, one nice, neat thing is that um, you see that behind me. That is that's the Mighty Mac, uh, the Mackinac uh, Bridge, connecting the uh, main part of Michigan to the UP, the Mitten to the UP. Um, and our campsite is right here on the shores of the, actually we're on Lake Huron because we're uh, east of the, uh, east of the bridge, that's the Straits of Mackinac. So, <laughs> um, so we're, our campsite's right there in the shadows of the uh, Mackinac Bridge. Really, really kind of neat. And uh, today we're going to hit the road, we're going to cross the bridge, we're going to go south into Michigan and explore uh, Petoskey and uh, Harbor Springs, see the uh, Tunnel of Trees, and uh, come back up here to Straight State Park for another night. And um, we'll get a Parks on the Year activation for Straight State Park yet uh, before we move on north to Sault Ste. Marie. But first, um, let's head south into Michigan. I don't know where we'll be when we are gray and getting old, but all I know is that we're not up here alone. Because the shooting star is just an asteroid crashing into us. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. Would you go on a one way trip to Mars with me? I don't know if we'll ever get that far, baby. All I know is that we might have something special that's good. This morning we're at uh, Petoskey State Park in uh, northwestern Michigan, uh, kind of on the on the shores. On the I guess it's the eastern shore of Lake Michigan here, and uh, we're searching for Petoskey stones. You see Christine in the background there, kind of digging around. She's found a couple. I found one. Uh, what these are are um, little um, pieces of limestone with fossils inside, uh, fossilized coral. Uh, were, these were created, I don't know how many uh, million years ago, back uh, when you know, uh, before the continents uh, kind of shifted. This was more of an equatorial area and a giant underwater sea. So uh, this is pretty, uh, you know, these uh, little Stones are a pretty common occurrence. Uh, if you want to look for the Petoskey stones, you know, Petoskey State Park's a good place. Uh, Charlevoix, uh, just a little bit southeast of here, is another great spot to find uh, the fossils. Over on the eastern side of the state, uh, Cheboygan and Alpena, you can find them too. Um, but best time to come is in the spring, uh, after the after the ice comes out and um, a fresh batch of rocks uh, wash up on shore. Otherwise, in the summer months, these things are probably gonna get picked over pretty well. But uh, kind of fun exploring and um, picking a few of the little stones uh, for our personal collection. Along our trip uh, up Michigan's 119 and the Tunnel of Trees is a stop at uh, Harbor Springs, uh, just north of Petoskey. And um, Petoskey Harbor Springs area has the unique distinction of being one of the homes of Ernest Hemingway. Uh, Hemingway came here in the late teens uh, with his family. Uh, vacationed, lived up here, also lived up here for a period in uh, the late 1940s. So there's some very deep uh, Heming 
Gateway routes in uh, northwestern Michigan. Uh, this is the railroad depot in Harbor Springs where they would where they would come uh, disembark and then take another train into into Petoskey. Uh, this said that uh, in 1919 uh, when he was here at this area that um, northwestern Michigan kind of gave him the inspiration for his novel The Torrents of Spring. The depot now is a uh, is a restaurant so uh, no, I don't think trains have haven't come through this town since the 1960s, but um, at least the uh, the historic depot has been preserved, and you can eat here. I can't get my head around it, can't even think about it And all I know for sure right now, I'm glad you're here with me Roger, the call sign is Kilo Bravo Niner Victor Bravo Romeo I repeat, Kilo Bravo Niner Victor Bravo Romeo Do I have Michael? That's it Michael, name here is RJ, Romeo Juliet. The call is Kilo Charlie 4, Lima Romeo Romeo, and I'm in Franklin, Tennessee, about 25 miles south of Nashville. Roger the Franklin, Tennessee. I am in um, the Upper Peninsula, Michigan, park number 1543. That's Straits State Park in St. Ignace. I'm right where, you know, if you know where the UP meets the lower half of Michigan, I'm right at the uh, Mackinac Bridge. Okay, that park number is 15 and that's all I got. 1543, I repeat, 1543. 1543, roger, roger. Yep, roger that. I got a lot of noise here today, this afternoon, so I'm hoping, hoping I can get an activation out of it. Kilo, Kilo 2, whiskey, whiskey. Kilo, Kilo 2, Whiskey, Whiskey, gotcha. 5-7 here into Michigan, park number 1543. Back to you. Roger on the 1543, I got you at 5858 five in Central New York, over. Roger the 5-8 Central New York, and uh, thanks for the contact. This is uh, KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo Delta 9, Papa Lima Delta. Kilo Delta 9, Papa Lima Delta, 5-9 here into Michigan, park number 1543. Back to you. Kilo Delta 9 or Papa Lima Delta, do you copy? Roger the 57 Indianapolis. Yeah, you just dropped out there. You were strong as can be, and you just dropped out. So, uh, thanks for the contact. Uh, this is KB9 VBR. Parks on the air. QRZ. Kilo Bravo 8 Delta X-ray. Kilo Bravo 8 Delta X-ray. Gotcha. 59 here into Michigan. Park number 1543. Back to you. QSL the 5-9 into West Virginia, and <laughs> uh, thanks for that for the contact. Band is um, really bad for me this afternoon, but I got I've, I got 10, so at least we got the park on. Very good. Well, have a good evening and 73. 73, and take care. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Got 17 contacts total, or 19 contacts total. Two of them were on 20 meters. 20 meters was fading fast. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get a whole lot on 20 and 40 was just um, total noise but we got enough for the activation on this afternoon at Strait State Park on the um, Mackinac Strait, Mackinac Straits here between uh, the lower half of Michigan and the upper peninsula. We'll try, hopefully we can try again in the morning, conditions will be better and then we'll be, we're going to have to pack up and uh, move off to our next, next destination on our uh, Uper vacation. <laughs>